So I did a reading a couple weeks ago about how I was seeing this vision of the Bruce Almighty when he's sitting there answering all the prayers as emails. And I had a dream last night that was this, but it's interesting because in that last reading, I said, I couldn't remember the movie name and I said it was Santa. It wasn't Santa, it was Bruce Almighty. Last night I had a dream that it was Santa. I, I had a dream of Santa walking up to the computer and starting to answer all these, these emails that were prayers. What I'm getting from this is there is a Christmas present coming to those who have stayed aligned to their mission. And it feels like it's being released around Christmas because basically the, the, the vibration of the world has been so low because of all of the bad stuff happening. There's going to be families coming together, joy being spread on this day, Christmas. It's almost like that raises the vibration just enough to get this mass email that is a spiritual download sent out to the light workers. That's what I'm getting from this. What is, so basically this would be creating a portal for this to come through. So what is the portal that we are going to be experiencing The divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, God incidents, like synchronicity, but from God. The divine matrix, not the 3D matrix, but the interconnectedness of all of us from the divine realm. Coming through the portal as a Christmas present. I've been hearing about the real internet, the interconnectedness of consciousness. We're coming online. Let's see if we can confirm this. I have this deck and then one more that I'm going to read a passage from. It's like a flow state type passage. Galactic Council. Star being guides. Answer the call. Time to shine. It's the light beings all separate yet connected. Galactic council, interconnectedness, all of us coming together, coming online. Let's see what we have. <laughs> it's the same image. The three, three and three. The 3D version of us is all connecting now through the higher realms. Healing path. I carry the wounds of my land in the wrinkles on my face and my inner revolution becomes my hands nourishing you, nourishing me. The old souls are starting to get their powers. <laughs> step by step, I am going through my own anguish, insecurities, and terrors. I burn like fire with these emotions, and then I observe them calmly, not letting myself be carried away. We've been going through a test of trials and tribulations. Motionless, like an ancient island, well-grounded amidst stormy waves, I stand firm. We've been tested, and it shows that we're ready. Without even thinking about it, my strength expands, take roots, takes root, and grows in all directions. From the 3D to the 5D. I know the strength I need. The truth is that I have always found courage, the courage to dive deep in the ocean of my being. We've been tested and we still sought to find what makes our soul ignited. And we've remained in a state of forward facing when it comes to figuring out our soul's purpose, even when the stormy seas were everywhere. 
I know the strength we all need. I always find the courage. I come back to myself. I return to the world. So we're going from the 3D into the 5D so we can bring it back into the 3D for those who still need guidance. Mastery. Little by little, I feel the energy returning to my body. I leave my cave with clear eyes and all the confidence I have gained. The time has come to assume my role. The time has come. I am guiding a journey, regenerating a world. I recognize my strength. I incorporate it and I hold it in my hands like a sacred forming fire. The students are ready to become the teachers. So I was taking a picture of this to post and I recognized that the one that comes right after it is also very important. It's like what ignited this change. I am. In this holographic reality, we function like mirrors. I mirror you and you mirror me. I look into my mirror. I look at you. I look at myself. I can clearly see when I observe you. The outside acts as a mirror for my mind where I see different qualities of my own essence, of my most primitive self reflected. I grew up in a fragmented society that made me believe in not being, not being enough, not being valuable, not being capable. I often believed that I had a broken wing. This aspect of society is also my mirror, a very useful one which can encourage me to take care of myself in harmful situations. It makes me appreciate life and see it from another perspective. It gives me an opportunity to educate and expand my vision of reality. I now see that not being is an illusion, is a veil, based on a mistaken belief system and a projection of inherited fears. I pause and look at you again. I look at myself again. Seeing a spectrum of light and shadow, I assimilate the information received and I weigh it up. When I look at myself through harsh, closed, or authoritative mirrors, I have the opportunity to review my own violence, to set limits, to express myself, and to let go as necessary. I always deserve love. When I connect with sweeter, more loving, and compassionate mirrors, I am filled with peace, connection, to life, and to my purpose because our humanity is in essence, pure love. And that is one of my most beautiful reflections. The act of observing says more about the observer than about what is being observed. Look at the card. Looks like a card of expansion, a card of rebirth into a womb of a higher vibrational essence. It looks like going straight up through a portal of consciousness. Immediately when I saw that the first line was about mirrors, what happens if you have a mirror and then you have another mirror and then you have a source of light? It makes that light very overwhelming, very reflected out into the world. There's enough of us that have realized our light and are mirroring that back to one another. It's causing that fire, not a bad fire, but a fire of the soul because light reflecting onto another light, heat. We've caused this interconnected consciousness to come online because we're finally seeing that the darkness they try and make us believe we are is not the truth.
Okay, so pick a number one through three. We're gonna see what portal is bringing your message to you. So we know there's something coming in. Now we need to see exactly like, it's coming out of the main portal, right? And then it comes through the portal that translates to how you would understand. So what is your specific intake of this? And then we're gonna do two cards of what you have to focus on and a message from your spirit team to kind of get through the transition. So one, two, or three. We're gonna start with number one. Light codes, light initiation, great teacher awakening, divine magic. You're gonna to start to share your wisdom, your experiences at a higher level. What do you need to focus on? Beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Teacher, teacher, what do you need to focus on? How can you use what you've learned and experienced to help guide others? That's how you integrate these light codes is by sharing. I remember soul plan, the fated life versus the destiny life. This was always meant to be your path. You were always going to eventually be the teacher. You're just becoming that version of you because you've unpeeled away all the layers that were blocking that version of you. The presence of love will always cast out fear. So you overcame your shadows and now you're stepping into your light. Pile two. Soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts and remembering who you are, the phoenix. So you have recently or are going to cut off the right things or people that were draining your energy. And as you do that, you remember who you are and you get those downloads quickly. You reconnect. Earthed, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. So you're detaching from anything that does not allow your soul to fly. Anything that's holding you or weighing you down is being released. How can you mother yourself? So a need to do some reparenting here or some inner child work. And message from your team. I choose to learn through love. So that inner child or reparenting work what lesson is there in that for you so you don't repeat the same pattern? And pile three. Shambhala initiations, retreating to recharge, trusting in the process, Dharma. So you are integrating what you've already learned by giving yourself the space to feel and process and release not rushing forward, but being in the moment. You got the love, codependency and boundaries. So making sure that when you need to rest, you're letting yourself rest. When you feel inspired, you're letting yourself create. It's about listening to what you've learned through your previous experiences. Your guidance is divinely guided. It feels like you're getting a piece of your Akashic records in a way that you'll be able to make sense, but you need to be in a state of receiving, which requires you to rest here. Rest the mind, rest the body, rest the soul. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. So make sure you're focusing on what you want to create and not on what is going wrong. Release that as you rest.